Hi, uh, I'm Miriam Kramer. I'm with space.com. I'm just wondering how the AMS data compares to what was predicted, um, or if it, this was sort of out of blue. Um, and uh, is the instrument sort of fulfilling the goals uh, that you had hoped for when it was designed initially? I would say <coughs> when we first designed the detector, we have hoped to have a sensitivity of 1% accuracy and to have a very good resolution. And uh, we are very happy we managed to achieve this goal. As I mentioned at the beginning, the goal we set for AMS is normally not reached in accelerators, detectors on the ground. To do this in space, Really, it's a very challenging thing. So we are very happy we have uh, reached this. Uh, so I know that the AMS was actually canceled, I think, in, um, in 2005 before it ended up going on, uh, up on the last uh, Endeavour shuttle, shuttle launch. And I'm just curious, um, and this is for anybody who'd like to answer it, uh, sort of what does that mean either to you personally or sort of to the agency as a whole? I, I can just say that, uh, I don't know, I guess it teaches us uh, patience is an important quality to have. Uh, <laughs> there were times when we were uncertain about exactly what the future was going to be. Uh, we knew the quality of science was, was pretty strong and was pretty important, and the team hung in there, as I described earlier, and kept kind of uh, pursuing their passion, their dreams, and pretty uncertain and turbulent circumstances. And, but they kept moving forward, all the teams, and, and eventually things worked out and we got the instrument on orbit and you get to see the results today. So I think there's probably a message to all of us when it looks kind of dark and doesn't look like there's a clear path forward. Uh, you know, Fix your eyes on that uh, point out in the future and continue moving forward and, and keep following your passion and, and maybe things will break the right way and you'll get to see the results in the end and then maybe they're just a tad sweeter that way than they would have been uh, in, if it would have been a less turbulent uh, path to the, to the results. And, and I'd like to add that you know, DOE has been supporting this experiment since inception, I guess in the mid-1990s. And um, our, our interaction with NASA has been uh, fantastic. There have been little glitches, but the end product is here for all of us to see, and it's a happy day. Good. Dr. Ting, sounds like Dr. Ting wanted to add something? Yeah. <clears throat> I just want to mention, we were moving off, we were moved off the manifest in October 2005. Uh, <clears throat> I made a mistake coming to NASA headquarters, meet the administrator, and uh, I guess I didn't do my presentation too well. I was told your project is canceled. But even though it was canceled, DOE continued support us. In addition, most importantly, the Spanish, the Germans, the Italians, the Swiss, everybody believe the experiment is so important, we are going to carry it on, like Mr. Gastemeyer said. I also want to mention, even when we were canceled, we continue to receive support from Mr. Gastemeyer and from Johnson Space Center, which what made it possible today. Great, thank you very much.